Hello and welcome back. This is the solution to problem L D Q from Adcoder Educational DP contest. The problem statement is as follows: Taro and Jiro will play the following game against each other. Initially, they are given a sequence A of length n uh, from A i A1 to n. Until A becomes empty, the two players perform the following operation alternatively, starting from Taro. So he is the first. He is the player with the first turn. Uh, the operation states that uh, you need to remove the element at the beginning or the end of the A, array A. and after each move the uh, corresponding player earns x point where is where x is the removed element and let's say x and y be the respective scores of taros and zeros or total scores at the end of the game respectively then uh, taro is trying to maximize x minus y and whereas zero, 0 is trying to minimize this term x minus y let's try to look as example so suppose the initially given array was uh, a1 a2 a3 in taro's turn he could have removed the last element which would have resulted in uh, the array a1 a2 in zero's turn he would have removed the first element then it would have resulted in this one and in again in Taroston it would have resulted in picking the element a2 and an empty array so in this case uh, Taro's score would be he chose a3 first turn then he chose a1 no he chose a2 because uh, this was zero's choice and nothing in this so taro score would be a2 plus a3 and zero's score would be only a1 and uh, the sum of values let's say this is x this is y and taro is trying to maximize x minus y and zero is trying to minimize x minus y let's try to figure out what this x minus y would be so x minus y in this case would be the term a2 plus a3 minus a1 so this is what we need to minimize or maximize depending on the player who is currently playing the game so let's try to figure out mathematically what this problem states Initially, we are given a sequence A of n integers A1 to n, and each player uh, will going to choose elements from first or the last. This is choice one. This is choice two. After that, element is chosen. Uh, it will be removed from the array suppose this was chosen then we will only have this many elements and this was say taro's turn next would be zero's turn to pick some element let's say in his case he chooses this one so taro will initially have a of n zero would have a of one this would result in the array a two three up to n minus one and again it would be taro's turn and so on okay so taro will make some choices even let's say something in here similar for zero and taro score so these values would be signed plus and this will be assigned minus because uh, the sum of values for taro would be x and sum of values for zero would be y and we are finding out the values for x minus y as mentioned in the question and we are going to solve the problem from 
Taro's point of view, hence he is trying to maximize the term x minus y for himself. So x minus y will have his own values uh, with positive sign and the other opponent's value as negative sign because um, these values, let's say a1, a2, a3, a10, let's say are given to x and these are all added up for taro score and for zero score it would be summation of the subtracted value which is same as say a5 a6 a7 and so on something here so this is same as the first values are added up and the second values are subtracted by changing the sign of those values this is the main idea so in each turn uh, the player tries to do some element so initially we are going to start with the range 1 to n this is the uh, array that is left over after making some choices initially in it would be 1 to n then some uh, some of the elements would be chosen let's say the last one was chosen then it the leftover would be 1 to n minus 1 then let's say first is chosen then 2 to n minus 1 and so on this will go on until we reach a base condition where ln r r equal let's say we arrive at 6 comma 6 in this case let's say any player is playing then the maximum value that it can get is a of 6 because it doesn't matter whether the first player is playing or second player is playing each player tries to maximize their own summations they try to maximize this value both of them this is because whenever a certain element is chosen let's say x was chosen and we already put a minus sign here and try to find out the best answer that is uh, going to maximize this whole term right so from taro's point of view he's trying to maximize this term and from zero's point of view he's trying to maximize this term maximizing this inner term means minimizing the overall taro's term and this is the main optimality in um, the game theory approach which they are asking us that the two players play optimally which means the first player try to maximize his score and second player tries to minimize the opponent's score and this is what is happening in this case so um, we are basically trying to choose a particular value let me give another example so let's say we start with a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and it was 1 to 5 initially then let's say a1 was chosen and let's say best denotes the best possible or maximum value that is possible in a particular range so now the range that is left to us is 2 to 5 and taro is first choice is this and the second choice is to choose the last element a5 and in this case we will have a leftover array from 1 to index 1 to 4 and again this is the x minus y term for taro right x minus y where x could have been a1 or a5 and y is best 
which is between 0.5 or 1 and 4 and this is going to handle the first term and this is going to handle the second term and since we are trying to maximize taro is trying to maximize x minus y and zero is trying to minimize this which means we will try to put a um, larger value at y's position if a larger value is put at y's position this subtraction would result in a more smaller value for taro hence this best must compute the maximum value in this particular range and this is what the entire uh, taro's choice is doing so this function is essentially uh, finding out the maximum for any parameters l to r so we start off by finding out best from 1 to 5 and this is the answer for taro who's trying to maximize x minus y and this would be computed by the two of the choices either take the first one and subtract the maximum value for the remaining range which is 2 to 5 or take the last one and subtract the maximum value the range 1 to 4 and we are going to essentially maximize the answer for this for the first choice and the second choice we need to check we need to take the maximum of those two and this is the main recurrence for the solution this can be computed using dynamic programming so the ranges for the states here are order n for the first and second parameters and the transitions are order one there are only two choices available at any transition so this is the straightforward approach and a recurrence relation as we saw here now let's go with the implementation we take an input n and the array a we start off by saying that we have a leftover array which is the entire array from index 1 to n now the recursive function takes in parameters l and r and uh, this is the base condition whenever we don't have anything left to consider we simply return 0 from there this is for memoization caching the values the first choices the first choice that we saw is to choose the leftmost element of the array that is left even uh, or to take the rightmost value and this is the subtraction that that is going to help us to find out the value for maximum of a taro score And we need to find a maximum between those two choices find out the maximum value for taro score we can uh, similarly find out minimum value for zero score and it will also give us the same result since we are asked to find out the uh, since taro is playing the first turn so it is easier to compute it in this manner taking the uh, updating the answer for the current state with the maximum of the two choices will return the final answer so bp time complexity for uh, uh, number of states for this would be order n overall order n square for the states and transitions are constant time order one time com transitions uh, time complexity is order n square and memory wise also it is n square for the uh, dp table initialized here okay that's it about this video if you found this helpful do let me know in the comments or if you have any doubts or suggestions drop them down in the comments thank you